At six, state budget cuts could be good news for con artists. The cuts are tying the hands of the attorney general who's trying to track them down. Who are who all too often prey on innocent storm victims. News 9's Adrian Abyshinsky joins us now with the story. Amy, when lawmakers whittle down the budget, it hits state agencies across the board, and now the AG's office doesn't have the manpower to handle all their cases quickly. And that means many people may have to wait even longer for justice to be served. This statue at the Attorney General's office welcomes all those seeking justice. But budget cuts are hampering the agency's ability to hand out justice to all the people and agencies who need it. When you have fewer people to do more work, uh, that spreads people a little thin. Attorney General spokesperson Charlie Price says the agency is down 33 positions, leaving a lot of empty offices and a backlog of cases. That creates a lot of extra work for the Consumer Protection Division, which receives more than 200 complaints a month. Jerry Streck is an assistant attorney general assigned to the division and does his best to handle the caseload. Well, we manage the cases that we have. The um, unit right now is down three investigators and one attorney, and despite the decrease in staff, the the amount of fraud out there has, has really gone unchanged. In fact, both Price and Streck say they've seen a lot more fraud problems roll in due to the recent slew of storms. Complaints from storm victims are flooding in to check out out-of-state contractors who have performed shoddy work or to find fly-by-night con artists who have taken a storm victim's money and run. And we don't have the people that we can put on the ground to try to catch these folks anymore. The agency is working with local law enforcement agencies to help share the burden of catching the crooks, but the irony is the AG's office is being forced to turn other state agencies away who are seeking its assistance. State agencies can go to private attorneys, which the AG office provides on its websites to handle the matter, but that can end up costing the agencies and taxpayers a lot more money. With budget cuts, it's, uh, it's going to happen, it's been happening, and it's going to continue to happen. Now, Price tells me last year state agencies spent nearly $9 million hiring outside legal counsel, and they hope lawmakers do something about it when they meet next session. All right, Adriana, and the AG's office asked the legislature to consolidate legal services last session. The measure would have saved millions of dollars and put the 250 state attorneys under the AG's umbrella to help handle the caseload. But that measure died in committee.